take it away. So I was told that I had to make my own baits I'm excited for video for this season. We'll see what the season looks like. Um, we have a little one due at the end of May. So hopefully we'll be <laughs> able to get out there as a family. Um, things are going to look a little different, but I still have some baits I'm excited for. So. <laughs> okay. You might notice a theme with the baits that I'm excited for because um, I often pick baits based on color um, and also based on their action. If a bait is mostly a straight retrieve, I get bored very quickly. So I like baits that you have to work a little bit. So we'll start with this regular pro bulldog. I don't know what this color is called. It's pretty is the key. Um, <laughs> I like throwing plastics. I've had a lot of success on plastics. Most of the big fish that I've caught have come from medusas, um, bulldogs, that kind of thing. So it's always good to have a good plastic bait that you can throw. Next one, this is a new addition. This is a Rabska, what's it called? Walk the dog. Okay. <laughs> This is a Rabska Walk the Dog, seven inch. Again, pretty color. Um, apparently it glows in the dark, which is super cool. We haven't tested that out yet. Um, UV light, not glows in the dark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just do that again? That's up to you, it was kind of funny. <laughs> I want it to glow in the dark, Josh. <laughs> We're leaving it in. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's it's a good thing to have a nice top water that you can work. And I have not had much experience with top water walk the dog, but I'm excited to throw this one this season, hopefully. Next one. This is a seven inch Ridgeway. Um, I love throwing Ridgeways. They throw off a lot of water. They're hard to work for me because once they get bigger than the seven inch, they put off so much water. It takes a lot of strength and determination to throw them for long periods of time. Um, I've said before, I think that Matt Ridgeway is a good kind of crazy. These baits definitely work. I really like this color and I'm excited to get it in the water this season. You're an excellent salesman. You should have went into sales. Thanks. All right, this is a 10 inch Mother of Pearl Slammer. Let's be honest, I picked this bait because of the color. Um, I'm excited to throw it because of the color. Hopefully, we'll get some success on it. I like the profile of the bait too. So we'll see. I've never thrown this bait before, but I'm excited about it. I refrain from saying, I don't know what the f this does. <laughs> <laughs> Pandemonium Marvin 88. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the last one that I'm going to showcase today. This is a Pandemonium Tackle Marvin 88. I don't throw bucktails very often because like I said earlier, the bait has to have a certain type of rhythm for me to not get bored. Bucktails don't often have that, <laughs> but it is good to have a good bucktail that puts off a lot of water and the Marvin 88 definitely does. Um, I'm excited about this color. I like the kind of you and I color we got going on here and hopefully we can get this some action this season. Kelly, you were with me last year when I had that one go around how many times in the figure eight on a Marvin 88? Um, like, I, I don't know. It was multiple minutes worth of <laughs> figure eights, basically. It was at least 10 times. At uh, least 10. Long one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the baits I'm excited for this season. Hopefully, we'll be able to get out on the water, hopefully up in northern Wisconsin. We'll just have to see what the future holds, I guess, with a new little one added to the crew. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Musky, musky fisherman in the making. Already, musky already caught loading. two fish.
Yeah, assists on two already. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, outro part. Thank you for watching. If you like the Tackle Talks, let us know. I'm not good at Tackle Talks, but Matt is very good at Tackle Talks, so he'll do future ones. But make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace!